I remember. I remember. What? She's the one I used to love. I fumbled a 10. Oh. oh. Whoa, hey, what's up guys? Reporting live. Uh, you can't see it across from me. It, there's a, the Mesa Convention Center. It's We're here right now, we're at the Anime Arizona, so this is gonna be a quick little vlog for you guys. And guess what, we actually cosplay this time. Uh, let me show you real quick. Got your boy Chris. Look at him. Can you guess what he is? He's lit is what he is. Now he's a uh, Organization 13. I have a mask, I'll put it on later. I just wanna use my eyes first so I know where I am and then I'll be blind the rest of the event. All right, so there you go. And then we have David uh, killing it right now. Um, let's see, I'm stepping the lights here. This way. You are Vincent. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know how to pronounce the last name. From From Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop villain, look at him. Got the whole fit, spit it up. That's oh me. my, majestic. And me, you ask. It's, hold on. Dude, I have things in me, you ask. And me, you ask. I'm casual. Casual use case. Duh. Your words can't bother me. These chairs are Gucci. It's true. It's crazy. The fit. Last minute. So Shout out to David. Thing. David had all this stuff for me, and I was like, you know what? Just in the closet. I just had to do something. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go inside and uh, to to see what today brings, guys. Shout out Chris. We're already gonna ask for a picture. Good for him. That's cute. Oh look, it's Sophie. She's cool too. But look at this. Good for you, Chris. Shout out to Mike. Uh, this is his first con ever. Are you recording? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. This is his first con ever. What are your thoughts so far? You haven't been inside at all. You haven't even seen anything. Is it, uh, I love it. You love it? I love it. That. Oh, he loves the cosplay? Oh, okay. I love it. Look at that. Holy shit. Sick. That was my first anime. <laughs> Here's about it's Jake the serves. Pokeball guy. Love that guy. We've arrived. The classic vendor hall. It's actually pretty big. I'm surprised at how the size of it random oh wow that should go all the way back there that's cool all right uh let's see if we can find anything interesting look at the guy hey show him hey i'm showing it hey, show i'm it. showing it. show it i'm showing it i'm showing it are you showing it i'm showing it okay, okay. what are your thoughts on it i like it that's my boy why is charizard that. better than blastoise uh he's not be, he's he, not whoa whoa hey hey streaming look at that on his backpack Name someone better. You can't. Look at that. going crazy. Where's so Chris mobile? made a purchase. Let me talk to him. And he bought yeah. another keyblade. I bought a different keyblade. So, he bought the king key. Okay. Three, my Actually, lord. it looks pretty good. Actually, and I have, I have the proper chain at home because it came with this one. So this one was totally wrong, but now I can add that to this, repaint it, and we have come up. So yeah. what happened was, well, first of all, Chris could not find his mask. The so mask is not with him, but it's fine. So it looks cool. But the key that he ordered, this one, so for did some not reason, look anything like, like what he said. So it's missing. It has a different um, like handle. It's supposed to have a braided look. I'll this put a picture up for you guys to see. Yeah, it, this is it supposed looks, to have a blade, and this is supposed to have like a floor. Um, for some reason, if you look online, you still find models of this one. And for some reason, the store that we went to right now was also selling this version. It doesn't look like this at all in the games. So basically, Chris got hoed, and uh, he had an upgrade. So now we're going to keep it, though. Oh. I started making the blade for it um, with some EVA foam and a heat gun. So we're going to make some wine out of these grapes. True. Update. Chris has got asked for another picture. Good for him. He's really One, killing it. Two, three. You know, I've been uh, spending my whole life looking for the One Piece, but no one's ever asked if I'm still in One Piece. You know, sometimes it's deeper than just treasure. I right, missed it though. Chris got asked for another picture. Wow, on. you're it's a fucking going. star, apparently. I keep getting sad. Without the like mask, this. and you're still getting asked for pictures. I feel like it would have been more if people didn't see me, but whatever. That's my Maybe they like the fact that they can see your face. Maybe they do. I appreciate it. Got my first purchase today. It's going to be this shirt right here, this Death Note one. Oh, look at that. It's fire.
to me, to my Terracido. So like, if you kill Spike, like, what's your what's your goal? Oh wait, can this? you get me? Uh, can you get me doing the light? So like after you beat Spike, like what's what happens after that? Like what do you, what do you, what's your Nothing goals? Nothing happens after that. We just all get sent to the next world, and this long dream of mine might finally end. Remember what? That you got your ass beat. That's oh. What you Hello, it's me, the professional henchman. Today, working at uh, Mesa Anime Arizona for Organization 13. That's right, I pick up scab jobs because it's tight out here, folks. We need the cash. Uh, honestly, it was a pretty fun convention. I wasn't expecting to come out and have uh, uh, such a good time at such a new event. I personally never heard of the event going on uh, myself, but. Uh, it, it was it was exciting. I got stopped by quite a few folks, which blew my mind. I didn't think anybody was going to stop me for photos, and that wasn't the case. I'm really thankful for that. Uh, definitely come out again. I'll try and come up with a more clever cosplay next time. Who knows? Maybe do something custom. We'll see. All in all, uh, 8 out of 10 would do again. So, guys, uh, Chris mentioned earlier we are at Anime Arizona. Uh, as far as the con goes, my experience here, I had a really good time. I feel like this one is more of a tight-knit community feel, I feel like, because the people here, you know, it's such a smaller event that the people around it have made it more enjoyable for me compared to, like, Ulu Con and Sabaton Con. It's more of, like, the spectacle of it and how big it is. But this one, I feel like, is very community-based. You come in here, you see all these cool cosplays, everyone, everybody pretty much recognizes you and who you are as far as whatever you're doing in cosplay. So I do like that aspect of it, that it does feel like, you know, like a family kind of. But as far as like the events goes, um, you know, we didn't really do like the, the panels or the voice actors, we didn't meet any of them. We just came and walked the floor. And as far as that goes, I did enjoy that. It was a, a fun experience walking it. It's not too big, so you can get it done pretty quickly if you do decide to come yourself. And that's always nice when you feel like you did everything. You know, you always feel like, oh, what did I miss? At least with this one, you know, you didn't really miss a lot of it. And, um, yeah, the vendors have all been cool. The people have all been cool. Chris has gotten recognized so many times. He's gotten, like, everybody asked for his picture and stuff like that. And, you know, that's all you can really ask from, from a con is that you, you feel welcomed when you're doing it. And that's what I feel like this one captures a lot of it. It makes you feel welcomed. And people here are friendly. And, yeah, overall, though, the event itself, what would I give it? I'd probably give it, like, a 8 out of 10 just because the people have made it better than what it is. As far as like the way it's organized, I do think it could get, you know, do a little better. Cause it all just does feel like it's in one building. The voice actors are in a separate building and the panels are in a separate building. If they could find a way to make it all just one building so it feels like everything's closer together, I would enjoy that probably a little more. But from what we got, did enjoy it. Do recommend if you're in Arizona, next time they have one, you should come, you'll have a good time. And uh, yeah, until next time, shout out to that guy.